I like it. We've already we've already discussed the what type of or how you can get an ideology for the type of email capture and lead magnet, what the lead magnet can be in terms of content that you've already got. From there, they've joined the list, you've built a bit of brand and trust with them, they've gone through your five day series. What 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 happens from there with your yeah. email list? Is it send them an email once a week, once a month? Do they go through a different campaign? How right. do you treat people once they're past that? Just got your lead magnet. I love this question. This is where a lot of people get hung up and it is simpler than you think. Mm. First of all, a couple of core principles that I not just believe in strongly, I've seen happen time and time again. Number one, you can email more often than you think. Now it depends on your niche, depends on your subject matter, but if you are solving a problem for somebody, it is not spam. Of obviously, there is a threshold of where fatigue hits in. You know, will set in, right? You, but you, but the main point is most people err on the side of once a month or what. I don't want to annoy them. But <laughs> the point of having a list is to serve them. Yes. And you and you know how it is. We all I'm the proverbial you. We all forget if it's not right in front of us. We forget about the subject matter expert that helped us a while ago. And so right. staying top of mind is important. Number two, principle number two. This is where a lot of people get hung up on. They, they think that they either need to have exclusive content for their newsletter, like I got to create something new, or it's all about what's new. The reality is it's all new to them. Mm. This is where we come back to repurposing your existing content. You do not have to reinvent the wheel. So there's two different types of content that I send. There's seasonal and evergreen. Let's talk about evergreen first. I didn't invent the concept of some sort of nurture sequence, all right? What I do, however, is I take this sequence and I've coined it a forever series. I work with my clients and we get your best stuff and we put it in an order that makes sense. Evergreen, okay? So let's say that you have a website about Disney Cruise, all right? You have your lead magnet, they're on the list. There is stuff that should come first. Disney Cruise tips, what to pack, what happens on the private island, how to avoid getting seasick. Later on down the line, you might say, here is the optimal playlist, or here's, uh, here's trip insurance. That's down the line. What does yeah. that person is learning about Disney Cruise up front need? They always need it. It's always the same. This is true for every niche, for food, for woodworking. It doesn't matter. There's always an order of content that you can provide that makes sense. We can deliver that one email per week if you want, or multiple emails per week so that they get that stuff. And the glory of this is that you write it one time, you drop it into an automation, and you keep adding to it, and that's called a forever series. There is seasonal things. The best time science has shown to share Christmas cookie re recipes is, in fact, at Christmas time. <laughs> so, but do I have to, at Christmas, share my newest Christmas cookie? when I've got the one that I made 10 years ago that is killing it every single year and it's the one that my mother-in-law raves about, right? Share that stuff. Mm. So we've got evergreen, we've got seasonal, but we're not, the what's new thing needs to go. That paradigm is about us and it's not about them. That is huge for people listening because the what's new thing is where people get hung up, right? It's the same thing that you are talking about with a lead magnet. You need to create a new lead magnet that you need to create new content for. You're going to get hung up there. If you need to create new emails for new content that you don't have to create, that can slow you down and get in the way, right? right? So I guess as a suggestion, would you say people that have a content site that have put people through a lead magnet, give them their the top five things through five days of emails that they need, and then once they're through there in terms of maybe evergreen, have them go through a sequence or send them the top articles for people that are starting out in that space or going through this journey on like things to be aware of or things that you may need to know. I think that's a great the content place to that you start. already have, right? The articles that are already on your site. Yeah. I mean, I think that's a very reasonable place to start. You mix, you take what you know about that person who came in through your lead magnet, which that's the glory of the lead magnet is they, they raised their hand and said, I have this issue or I have this problem or I want help with this. Why not create, continue the journey beyond the lead magnet as long as you can. And what I found is that we'll just sit with my clients and I'll just say, okay, what are the first, what are the next five things that you would tell them? Forget about what Google says is popular. Forget about what you rank for. Let's just talk about what you know. 
well, I know they need to do this, and then I know they're going to need this, I'm going to need that. Because you may be outranked on, by other, other sites and other things for those things, but you, your content is still super valuable to that person. So deliver that in that order. And then once you stop with five, go, well, what's sixth? Well, what's seventh? And until you get to the point where it's all equal, at that point, you just start locking them in. What happens if you come up with something new that's the blockbuster thing? Well, these are not set in cement. <laughs> Move them around. Change out, you know, put... Swap out number one if it stinks with something else. But the point is that the, the sequence now will serve you for a very, very long time to come.